Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. Here are my five tips for playing Potion Permit. Let's go! In this genre of games, you'll find yourself frequently asking, where is this person that I'm looking for? You'll Google their schedule, run around to their known hangouts, or comb every street and building. Potion Permit fixes that with the best use of your furry friend. Whistle for your dog, talk to him, and hidden at the back is the find NPC. All characters are here. Simply select and your puppy will do the work for you. 10 out of 10, I hope this mechanic is added to every life sim going forward. Fishing is tedious in this game, so here's a tip to make it faster. Fish alternate between two modes, angry and tired. If you reel continually when it's angry, you'll break your line. And while the fish is angry, it will swim in the opposite direction, adding more time to your cast. I found that tapping the reel in button consistently keeps the fish from swimming too far away from you, minimizing the loss of progress, an instant time saver. In Potion Permit, there's only one gift you can give the villagers, moon cloves. You can only obtain them through healing patients and completing side quests. You can't just gather more on your own. It's tempting to give them out like candy because they provide such a nice bump in the friendship bar. The best way to handle these is to save them for people you don't see frequently. For instance, I visit the bathhouse almost daily, so talking to Cassandra and Olive is easy. I also check the tavern at night where lots of townsfolk congregate, and I talk to them then. However, the rangers and Mateo live way south of town, and I only remember to go there occasionally. I'll gift them the moon cloves to keep up with those that I speak to more frequently. Others who are good candidates for the moon cloves are the mayor and his family, who live in a really weird spot that's a bit of a maze to get to out of town. If you don't fish often, there's also Leono and Otmar who live in the northern pirate ship, and also Victor, Cecilia, and Russo who live in the monastery. Also, be careful of how full a friendship bar is before you gift. The friendship bar maxes out, and you'll need to complete a friendship request for that person. It'll feel like a waste if you gift someone a moon clove who is only one more conversation away from maxing out the bar. Use the bathhouse. It's free. I like to go out first thing in the morning and gather materials until my stamina is depleted. Then I'll pop over to the bathhouse, refill my stamina, complete tasks around town, and then finish the day gathering more materials. You basically double your haul every day, except Thursday. They're closed. And it beats the pants off cooking and eating while you go. My last tip is a combination between the potion drop box and using the quick recipe potion brewing. By the time you have your second badge, you'll have unlocked the potion drop box. Sell extra potions here, and every night at 1700, you'll get money for them. There's two ways to do this. One, hone in on a few recipes that sell for a lot and focus on getting the materials you need for them. For instance, I started with the Alacrity Potion. At badge three, it's the freezing spray. Every day I make those materials a priority. You can also experiment with other combinations and save them into your recipes but you have to make a potion five times to unlock the ability to save recipes. Once you have a recipe saved, press X on your controller to bring up the menu. Select your recipe, select your quantity, and boom, potion's made. Note that you can only have three saved recipes at a time per potion. And two, this one goes hand in hand with the recipe tab. Once you've made a few potion recipes, you can simply flip through daily and just make the ones that you have materials for. This is a more laid-back approach and lets you create when you have extra stuff to spare. And as a bonus, here's some quick don't forgets. If you need to kill time, don't forget to do the part-time minigames at the monastery, the police station, and the town hall. It'll jump you two hours ahead and you'll be 125 gold richer. The boards around town are different than the ones in the town hall. Around town, those boards show you available side and friendship quests. The one in Town Hall is used for job requests. Be sure to check it every week to see if you have any extra ingredients you can offload for some quick cash. They refresh every Monday. And last but not least, your dog's friendship bar only fills up once. Feed him pretty much anything to fill it when he begs, but meat-based items give bigger boosts. Once he maxes out, he'll dig up cooking ingredients for you while you're out and about. So those are my favorite tips for playing Potion Permit. Let me know your favorites in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.